Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCard Delivery Date and Time plugin. Now this particular plugin will allow the admin to set the delivery time slots for the orders. On the other hand, the customers can choose their preferred delivery day and time for the order at the time of checkout. After the customers have completed the purchase, they can see the selected day and time in the order history as well. Apart from that, for the feature, the admin can add the minimum number of days to process the order and the admin can also add multiple number of time slots as required and can set the number of delivery time slots to show at the time of checkout to the customers. This particular plugin also supports the multi-store and the multi ring functionality as well. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular uh, plugin. That's the open cart uh, delivery day and time pl plugin. And I'll be showing you how the customers can choose the uh, preferred delivery time slot uh, for uh, receiving their orders uh, on the selected ones. And apart from that, I'll also be showing you the backend configuration or the initial configuration there, uh, how the delivery time slots can be created and how the delivery orders can be checked by the uh, web store admin in the admin backend panel under the plugin uh, options there but before we proceed further please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then kindly do give it a thumbs up so right now you can see that I'm at the uh, checkout page so let me refresh it up I've already added one product into the cart that's uh, the red city bank and uh, I've tapped on the checkout button thereafter now here I'll be choosing my billing details and my delivery details and according to that uh, the uh, uh, different uh, shipping methods would be populated and we'll be able to see the delivery time slot as well now after selecting uh, the particular uh, shipping uh, method there uh, that's the uh, I've chosen the flat rate shipping there I can choose now my delivery time slot so here you can see that we have uh, multiple deliveries uh, delivery uh, time slots that have been created uh, there by the admin along with the delivery time here from 1130 to 830 930 to 9 p.m. and so and so forth now here I want to tell you one thing is that uh, uh, today is uh, for example if I tap here on the calendar today is the 17th actually the uh, delivery data uh, should have shown as from the 18th there but it's showing from uh, the uh, Sunday that's uh, 22nd because I have uh, what I've done is that from the configuration settings I've set the minimum number of days to process the order as four so that's why if the customer places the order today uh, the actual delivery date and time would start uh, from the Sunday because it's uh, the four day gap is there okay so uh, if I take you to the admin backend panel here you can see that the minimum required days to process the order is four if I make it as zero and I save this particular thing here and I come back and I refresh the page here and I continue here with my default uh, billing and delivery details now you can see that uh, the date is showing as uh, April 18th that's tomorrow 18th and the uh, delivery time and uh, uh, and the delivery time is also being shown as 8 30 a.m. to 9 30 p.m. there now what the customer can do is after selecting the delivery uh, choosing the delivery date and uh, uh, time there he can just proceed further by tapping here on the continue button he can choose his payment method as he wants uh, can select the terms and conditions can tap here on the continue button and then can confirm the particular order by tapping on the confirm button now after placing the order the uh, customer can find uh, the details of the delivery date and time selected by going to the order history there so if I go to the order history for the order number 27 that we have just placed and I wave this particular order uh, here you can see find the particular delivery date and the day along with the time here as you can see so that's uh, the customers uh, but, uh, customers uh, workflow there now let's head on to the admin backend panel and let's see how the store admin would be able to configure this particular plugin in the initial place and how uh, uh, he'll be able to create the different delivery uh, uh, slots there and how he can uh, basically check the delivery date uh, delivery orders that have been placed by the different customers there so here I've logged into the admin backend panel of the open cart web store and after the successful installation of this particular plugin, you'll find the delivery time uh, menu option on the side panel here. Under that, you'll find the delivery time slots and the delivery orders. 
so let's go to the delivery orders first because we had just uh, placed an order there so uh, under the delivery orders here you can find the complete list of orders that have been uh, placed there and this is our order number 27 that we had just placed and here the admin can find the order id the start time the end time and the delivery date and time uh, along with that and from here if the admin wants can access the order as well by tapping on the order id and that would uh, open up the order itself and within the order here the admin can find the uh, delivery date and the day along with the delivery time as you can see here for the particular order so that's how uh, the admin can view the delivery orders under the delivery orders section here under the delivery uh, time there and uh, if the admin wants he can also delete any of the uh, orders or the delivery orders that have been received by him he can delete them as well as required apart from that he can also uh, filter out the uh, delivery orders uh, from the delivery order list by choosing the delivery day and day or the order id or the end start and the end time as well now coming to the delivery time slots here uh, the admin will uh, initially find it as an empty slot uh, to create the delivery time slots he'll have to tap here on the add slot button at the top after adding a slot those slots would be listed here and uh, from here the admin can also delete uh, these slots by tapping here on the delete button after selecting the respective slot that he wants to delete he can edit any of the slots uh, by tapping on the edit button as well by tapping edit he can change the start time the end time and uh, he can also change the delivery day uh, for that particular uh, uh, day uh, that he wants uh, to edit to add a new uh, delivery slot uh, uh, he'll have to tap here the add slot button and that would bring up this particular section wherein he needs to enter the start time end time delivery day there to add a new one just tap here on the add button choose the start time the end time choose the delivery day for which you want to create it up and tap on the save button and after saving that up that particular delivery slot would be then visible here as required and here as well the admin can filter out the uh, delivery uh, slots that he has created by choosing the start time end time and the delivery day according to those he can also filter out uh, the uh, particular uh, delivery slot that he has uh, created and uh, yes that was much about how to create a delivery time slot from the admin backend panel under the delivery time and the delivery time slots now let's check the initial configuration settings for this particular plugin so for that you'll have to navigate through extensions and extensions under the uh, choose extension chart type you have to choose modules and here you'll have to go to the delivery time slot system tap on the edit button and here you can choose the store for which you want to make it available for you can choose the status of the delivery time slot system as enabled or disabled as required you can set the minimum required days to process the order so i've already shown you the working of this and then you can choose the total slots at the checkout so how many slots you want to display at the checkout time i've set it as according to the weekdays so uh, uh, there are seven days so i've set it as seven you can have more than these uh, a set number of uh, time slots at the checkout as well depending upon how many slots that you have created according to that you can set the number here that you want to display at the checkout time and lastly you just need to tap here on the save button to save the configuration settings so yes that was much about the uh, open card delivery date uh, and time plugin and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com you can raise a ticket at webcool.qvds.com apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then kindly do give it a thumbs up and lastly Thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.